Jim, do you ever remember a game that the Saints have dominated so much, had so many positives in, and yet come away with the wrong result? No, I think that's a really good description of the game. I think, uh, you know, in, even in the first half, and we, we went in at half time at 21 9 down, but there's so much good, good play. Um, but just to concede three tries like that is. is, is you know, ridiculous, and, and it's always a hard uh, ask then to come back. We did that. We came back. We got then six points clear. Worked our way, and then a couple of little defensive mistakes allowed them to come back in the game and sneak it. It was a great show of spirit to come back in the second half, though. What did you tell them at half time? Yeah, I just said let's just simplify things. Said things are going well. I thought the scrum was going well. Our set piece, our restarts were going well. We we're defending, um, but we we're just giving away these stupid passes and and, um, and and making mistakes. So cut those out by game. Keep it simple. Keep it direct. And we did that and, and managed to to create a lot of pressure on them. You said in the week that the LV Cup was a chance for younger guys to get a bit of experience, other guys to get some game time as well. Were you pleased with? On, on general how the youngsters play? Yeah, very much so. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for them to come in and uh, young Stevenson there playing a full game. You know, it's difficult. He's against Matt Hopper, who's now an experienced Premiership player. So a real good test for him. Uh, and then to get Harriet and uh, young Waller off the bench it will, will be good for them. And uh, we'll continue in this LV to, to, um, to, to keep playing some of the younger players, given their experience, as, as well as um, some of the senior lads who have not played much rugby. Paul, I know it was a last minute try that won the game for Harlequins, but will you look back on the first half as maybe where the game was lost? Um, yeah, I think so. It's a frustrating changing room um, in there. We um, we gave away some soft soft tries early on in the game, and you know you give a quality side like Harlequins a head start like that, and you're always battling to get back in the game. I thought we showed some great character to come back and and to be leading with the last couple of minutes, and um, you know we had opportunities to sort of shut the game out, uh, you know, knock on in our 22, and then. Um, Probably stop them getting a quick line out, and, and we've probably won the game there. And I think that's, you know, perhaps just the immaturity of the side. That, you know that we've really got to learn from that and um, and grow as as a team and, and make sure we shut those out. You always win and lose as a team, but from a personal perspective, it couldn't have gone much better for you today, I guess. Um, well, you know, scrums always when it goes well, we always try and take the floor. It's the front row, but um, it's an eight-man thing, and uh, we'd worked really hard on it the last few weeks. Um, I think scrum gym performance against Le uh, Leicester the week before has really put us in good stead, and um, yeah, we're building as a unit, and uh, everybody's growing in there, and um, yeah, we're gelling, I suppose, and and hopefully we can sort of build on that performance and, and uh, improve on it next week against the Dragons. Does it affect the mindset at all when you go down to Wales? Uh, it's a difficult place to go, um, but you know we're looking forward to it. We need to go down there and get a win, really, uh, by any way, shape or form. So, um, yeah, we're going to go down there and, uh, and give it our all, but get it right on the training pitch first. And, you know, I don't feel there's an awful lot to put right. We're playing a lot of good rugby, and um, if we can probably just hold that final pass or, you know, keep the ball and go through our phases, it will happen. I think we're probably just, just trying a little bit too hard at the minute.